Alright, we're back this week on Jelly Side Up, and we have Apocalypse Party with us. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, everybody. Oh, yeah, you guys yeah, want to introduce yourselves real quick? Somewhere? Start somewhere? I'm Maybe. Kevin Teller. Kevin. And he's vo vocals and guitar. Yeah, I, I sing and play guitar, yeah. I'm Chris Stark, and I play bass. I'm Chris Zedro, and I play drums. I'm Kyle Teller, and I uh, play keys and I vocal uh, uh. He's, he's not sure why he does <laughs> <I vocalize. laughs> He just got back you hardly, you hardly play keys. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, so, um, I had a lot of fun with you guys recording. Really like your sound. You guys want to, like, tell us a little bit about what your music is, what it's about, what style, alternative, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I guess you would sort of classify us as alternative. Um, we take a lot of, um, Influence from the Foo Fighters and, uh, nice. strangely enough, Rush, that combination there. Um, we also listen to everything. Oh, yeah. And we take influences from everything. And you, everything. Can, and you can hear that in a lot of our music. And I know in our song, uh, The Beast, which we're, which I think is, will be out when this is airing, um, you, there's like some Indian Raga stuff in there. All right, so, all right, something uh, different. Yeah, so we listen to everything and we make sure that it. Uh, comes forth in our music. We're actually yeah. trying to work on uh, getting a pop cover too, like covering <laughs> a pop, a pop cover. song. Like, well, what, yeah. what song is it specifically? You know? well, we're, just, we're looking for one. Yeah, we had one, but we got <laughs> like some Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, or like well, it was it was T Swift. Oh, T Swift. All right, all right. So you guys are ever ever getting back together? Basically, that was basically that was the song. But we decided against it. We take a lot of influences. Like Kevin and I listen to a lot of. Acoustic folk. Oh yeah. And I listen to a lot of hardcore music and everything. Um, Miss May I. <laughs> yeah. Miss May I. Miss May Memphis Mayfire. Mayfire. We had a Memphis um, Mayfire inspired. Uh, the beast you can hear some parts. Oh yeah. Oh, we'll look forward to that. A lot, that. A lot one of the drums in that. One of the one is the beast, and I know you guys have an album. Yeah, the, you just said it was shipped. It was just shipped. The, yeah, the EP is dropping on uh, December twenty first. December twenty first. So. Oh, that's 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 the really hard. Cool. Very hard. Nice. Kyle didn't yeah. know that. I didn't even know. I didn't even <laughs> notice that. Well, the band members didn't even know what was going on with that. <laughs> I mean, so, no, no, it's just Kyle. Oh, it's just Kyle. Yeah, yeah, it's basically just, just me. Kyle. I'm basically. That's pretty cool that you guys did that. No, that is. I didn't even think about it. I I think I'm more afraid of. What people are gonna do? Then what's actually gonna happen that day? We I might sell a ton of. Hey, then the yeah. gonna be the then the herd. There's gonna be some really dumb people that are gonna do some pretty. Dumb oh yeah, they are. It's, it's gonna be the most there. annoying day on Facebook. Oh, for oh real. god, I'm just turning off my no, no, nothing. All right, right. we're just we're just we're just gonna play our show and leave. <laughs> we're not, we're yeah. not gonna Get we're just gonna you know sell until the headliner plays and then we're just gonna leave. I'm not gonna check Facebook all day. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. I don't even know if I'm gonna go on Facebook because I will be. Very irritated by what's on there. Yeah, definitely. Oh, the twenty first, Kenny. That's a big yeah, thing. Yeah. But uh. um, in terms of that, where did Apocalypse, Apocalypse Party come from? The name. Um. Well, the name is like, you know, it's taking positive and negative aspects, which is what of uh, life and different uh, things that we sing about in our songs. Um. So you know, you've got Apocalypse, which is negative, and Party, which is obviously positive. So um, we try to sort of, I guess, combine. Um, those two things, uh, sort of like how I was inspired by the Alice in Chains quote where they say that they, uh, Very take nice. beautiful things, or take ugly things and make them beautiful. Yeah. Um, so I guess a little bit inspired by that, but more just positive and negative that we try to play on for our songs. Alright, and, uh, how did you guys, I know went to high school with you two, you as well, you guys are brothers, but... I don't know you. How did you guys all meet? How did you form? How did this whole thing start? What happened here? <laughs> okay, what happened? okay, this is a crazy story. Alright, so Kevin, like, has always wanted to start a band, and, like, he finally, like, started taking action with him in the band when uh, he and Chris started hanging out. And so he and Chris just started jamming and stuff, and then Kevin's like, my little brother sings, so he can join the band. So, I mean, I joined the band, and um, we were having a pretty good time, but we did not have a drummer and we were looking all over for a drummer and they couldn't find one at IB um, and so I was looking they told me to we look at... a couple they, beatboxers and people with drum machines yeah <laughs> but, <nothing. laughs> but so um, I so I they asked me to go look around at Utica for people and Kevin kept being like he kept going did you find anyone yet? and I was in a math class with Chris all throughout ninth grade and all throughout tenth grade, and all right, I, and it took me until like 
a year and a half. Yeah, like a year and a half to realize that Zedro played drums. All right, so like every day, <laughs> Zedro would just be like, "Yeah, I just got, I just got this new uh, like bass drum. I just got this new set. I got these new drumsticks. Blah blah blah. I got these new cymbals for my birthday." And like, I'd just be like, "Oh, that's cool, yeah." And then I'd go home and come and be like, "Do you find anyone to play drums?" And I'd just be like. Nah, I couldn't find anyone, man. And then it just sort of like left my mind by the time I got home. And then, like, one day, I was sitting there, and Chris says something about Dave Grohl. And I know Kevin loves Dave Grohl, and so I'm just like, like, it like was a light switch. I was like, wait a minute! You play drums? And he's just like, dude, I've been telling you this for a year and a half. And I was like, you wanna join a band? And at first, he was like, not really, no, and then I we sort of convinced him to, and we uh, jammed with him once, and we were set on Zedro, and he was set on us, and it was love at first sight. Now, didn't you guys have other members in the band? Wasn't Eric yeah, in the band at one point? He was point? at one point. Um, I remember, because you don't have to go into it if you don't want I to. I want to hear that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you don't have to go into anything, but I know you guys, like, um, you guys performed um, at IB a few times. Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, I guess that was just sort of, like, the... Uh, like pre-official years of the band, like we were just sort of still getting our chops and everything. We didn't really know what we wanted. Um, no, what word chops? That was more <laughs> jamming. Just yeah, yeah, we because right. we, we weren't we weren't really writing during that yeah. period. No, no, it was no. just sort of a group that we played with. It, um, was, it was a way to start songs. getting in the band. Sorry, Sorry, it was a great way to do that too yeah. because we all had very different musical aspirations. Totally learned from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we learned from it. All right, uh, so. What are some, like, you guys have obviously performed some shows, I know you guys have been at the Crowfoot, you've been at Premiere, have you been at Premiere? Yeah, Premiere Concert yeah. Theater. Uh, you've got a show coming up the yeah. 21st? At Premiere Concert Theater. <laughs> at Premiere Concert Theater, hey! As well as, um, in January, the concert at Eisenhower High School, which mm. hopefully going to be at, but, um, tell us about some of you guys' show performing live on a stage, and, like, any, any crazy moments, any fun moments, any... Um, well, our first, our first <laughs> show as this group was last January uh, mm -hmm. for my cast project at IB, and that was one of the biggest shows we played at. We had <laughs> we had a couple We're hundred opening people for there, the directive, opening for the directive, and huh. mm -hmm. that was a lot of fun. That we had like and, crowd surfing and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and, and, and Kyle uh, came out with his. Uh, he had like these checkered I, red and black suspenders. And then I had a Pothless party on my chest. He wrote a Pothless party and magic marker all over his body. Oh yeah, because yeah, I hear you don't like to wear clothes. Clothes right? are annoying, man. I don't like clothes. <laughs> <laughs> clothes aren't my thing. <laughs> all right, so... I'm not naked now, though. No, no, no. He <laughs> we can see that. fully clothed right yes. now. Um, Is there any other good stories? Uh, first time we played a premiere, we brought a bunch of balloons oh, and yeah. like, oh, bouncy balls gosh. and we threw them into the crowd. But it was pretty empty that night. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 we had like so five by the end of the night, passing them around to each other. Yeah. Yeah. By, by the end of the night, like uh, you just see like all these bouncy balls just sitting around the floor, and we're like, "That was terrible." That was, <laughs> that was bad. Yeah. We went up on like, stage and we're like, "We're apocalypse party, and we're here to rock your balls." <laughs> <laughs> and then we threw the balls out there, and it didn't go so well. <laughs> that would have been awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah. 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 We were ready to have a good yeah. time. Yeah. And then there was like two people there. They were our parents, and <laughs> yeah, I had like two. <laughs> <That's pretty good. laughs> it was more than two. You gotta give us some yeah, credit. Yeah, Zendra's grandma comes to the show. You said we're gonna ride your balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys want to tell us what your next shows are, where they can be, where they can get tickets. Um, yeah, you can. Uh, you can find us on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah, you can, uh, well, mainly for people at like Utica, Kyle and Zedro will go to Utica. Um, for the Blizzard Bash, you can get tickets from Kyle and Zedro. Which the, is they'll be selling the, that, the Blizzard Bash is on January twenty fifth. Yeah. At Eisenhower High School, mm -hmm. tickets are ten bucks. The be, side two will be there. Gone by Sunset. Side two is their path. Oh, that's gonna be a good chance. And us. us. So yeah. it's a great chance to support local music and sure. local schools. I'm and probably gonna end up being I mostly think, yeah, local music. I was talking with and Chris. And local schools. <laughs> yes, and local schools. It's on uh, twenty five and Shelby area Van Dyke. Probably gonna get out there. Hopefully, do some interviews while there. You should try the Rocky Balls thing there. Yeah, yeah you should. That'd be awesome. That goes. We'll see. Yeah. Um, and you're showing the 21st. What's that all about? Where's that at? Um, Time that's tickets. That's at, that's at premiere. December 21st. Um, yep, December 21st. We're gonna be releasing our EP. That'll be the first day. Will they be able to get it there? Nice. Yep, you'll be able to yes. get it there. So we'll we've it got there. the hard copies. We've got our cases have just been yeah. printed up. And they, when did they ship? 
The, uh, they'll be there a couple days before. Okay, yep. So we'll have them. Yep. We'll have them definitely for that show. So December twenty first at premiere. Mm-hmm. Yep. Tickets, just get them online. Maybe. Yes. Uh, tickets um, from us. You, you, or at you the door. Just, yeah, at the same price okay. at the door. Yeah. At the door. Yeah. And yeah. Who else is playing? I think Doll Society. Oh, Doll. Yeah, oh, yeah, Doll yeah, Society yeah, is no. playing. Um, Suburban Syndicate is playing. Suburban Syndicate. I remember yeah. I couldn't say that on the show last week. Yeah, I yeah, couldn't say sin- sin- that word. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 Alright, so, um, I totally just drew a blank, but, uh, you guys can head on over to Facebook, you guys search Apocalypse Party, you'll find them, um, are you guys on SoundCloud, YouTube? We are not on SoundCloud, we are on YouTube, and Bandpa- or Bandcamp. 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 You Alright, so. on Bandcamp. Sweet. And iTunes, no? We're iTunes not on yet. iTunes yet. Not on iTunes yet, But right. we are going to be, <laughs> yes. Well, one day. Well, uh, you can go on over to Jelly Side Up. This interview will be there along with the two songs we did, which were, they're very different, but they're very fun. The River and The Beginning of the End, which we've played on the show before. Those will be up on SoundCloud on Jelly Side Up. And uh, you can send them on over to you guys. You guys can link the pages on Apocalypse Party. But thanks for coming in, guys. It was a lot of fun working with you. Thank you. Thank you. And hopefully be seeing you guys very soon at concerts and stuff. So. All right. Well, yeah, babe. Oh well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to listen to the music to get that. So um. Oh yeah, babe. Oh yeah. All right. Nice.